your coming in from information period, please come forward at this time. State your name. Sign in and state your name. <coughs> Chicago teacher strike very closely, and I was shocked to read an article that described teachers getting arrested for protesting a private company that was receiving TIF money to do for a development project in Chicago. When I started asking around, I heard that this has actually become a common occurrence. Although every TIF proposed has claimed that it will have a positive benefit in the public sector, it turns out that they usually benefit most of the private sector. It's my sincere hope that if Navy Hill, the Navy Hill proposal is passed in the City Council, it won't deplete the funding for our public schools. Um, however, I want to do more than just hope for that. Um, passing this resolution will ensure that funding for our schools is protected. Given how confident the developers are about how much money this will generate, there should be no problem, uh, no reason for them to hesitate promising to protect school funding. But as our school board, it's your job to make sure that the schools come first, no matter what their promises might be, um, especially given the 30-year entire generation that it would affect. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Robin Keegan. I am a parent, a resident, and a teacher in Richmond Public Schools. I'm here this evening to, in support of the resolution to hold R RPS harmless from the TIP projects. I have to say that I was very disappointed to see that the mayor present the idea that RPS will be receiving a cut of the money generated from this project 30 years from now on the assumption that this generates significant profit. The mayor made a public promise when he adopted our facilities plan that he would find the money for phase one of the plan. Phase one was supposed to build five schools. The meal staff provided enough money for three. And since then, we've been wondering where the rest will come from. Just recently, we learned that, in fact, RPS will only be, be building two schools with that money, despite the fact that Chesterfield is building more with the same amount. We are getting too used to broken promises. When the mayor said he would find the money for the first round of new schools, we didn't think he meant money that might be generated three decades from now. I have learned that the city spent $500,000 in funded partners to analyze this project and plans to spend even more money for a second analysis. The council has taken countless meetings about this project, an entire commission has been created, and the mayor has spent hours setting up and running town hall meetings to promote this project. How can we say RPS kids can't wait and then turn around and devote all of our time, money, and energy to a private development project? It is time to get our priorities straight. We need to fund schools first. Given the betrayal of our trust in the recent past, I am not willing to simply accept words as an assurance that this project will not hurt our schools. Please adopt this resolution to ensure that our schools are protected. I think it is also very important that we adopt the original language that protects school funding, whether these TIF grants are successful or not. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Carrie Treadway. I'm an RPS teacher, a member of REA, and I'm here speaking tonight as an individual. I'm here this evening to urge you to pass the original resolution proposed by Kenny Gibson. I've been reading online articles, listening to podcasts, and attending local meetings to learn more about what happens to areas that enact TIF districts. I am extremely concerned about the proposed TIF, how the proposed TIF will negatively, negatively affect our school funding enrichment. The proposed project essentially guarantees reduced funding for RPS on the state level. This development will create some increases in property tax revenue, and the larger our property tax revenue is, the less money we get from the state. The assumption by the state is that if we have more money from property taxes, then we can use that to fund our schools, and therefore be less funding. However, all of these new monies will go back to paying off the project. Which is doubly concerning about this is that actually the more property taxes that the project generates, the less money we will have from the state. This means that whether the TIF is successful or not, it's a lose-lose for schools. 
A TIF is always harmful to school funding. Our district is still waiting for the state funding to be restored from the recession. I don't understand how anyone can support something that will further decrease funding for our schools. As it stands, if this project passes, we will likely lose $3.88 million a year in state funding and $96 million over the life of this project due to the LCR formula. We cannot allow that to happen. I noticed on the paper outside that the resolution no longer specified that we are exempting RPS from TIF projects. The problem is that TIFs harm school funding whether they are successful or not, so the language will not protect our schools. I urge you to adopt the original language that specifies TIFs. There is no harm in passing the original resolution because it does not affect the city's ability to adopt the project. It simply creates a safety net for our schools. Please vote in favor of the original resolution and help protect RPS and our funding. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Emily Spencer and I'm an RPS teacher and resident. Um, I'm here to support Kenny Gibson's resolution to protect RPS from TIF projects. As a teacher, I'm asked to always ensure that my methods in the classrooms are evidence-based. It's an important pillar of those of us in education to value research over gut feelings. If we are to be evidence-based on our decisions making on this board, then this resolution should be unanimously adopted. TIFs have an invisible record in other states when it comes to school funding, and they are quickly becoming the enemy of teacher-led movements nationwide. We've seen it in Chicago, in California, in, Ger in Georgia, and in Maryland. If those teachers could be here now to advise us on this resolution, they would plead with us to support it, to not want to look back on this moment and feel the agony of regret. This resolution is not an indictment as a project, nor a statement of support. It's simply a way to ensure that we are following the evidence of other states and playing it on the safe side when it comes to our schools. Our fight for the money our kids deserve is far from over, and we simply cannot risk going backwards. I ask you to vote unanimously in favor of the resolution this evening. Thank you. My name is Margie Roseberry, and I'm an RPS teacher, an RPS parent, a city resident, and an REA member. I am here tonight because I am so relieved to hear the proposal to hold RPS harmless from any TIF projects in the city of Richmond, and I want to ask you all to vote in favor of this resolution. There is great uncertainty in our city right now about this project, and it is me feeling very nervous. I read recently that people were paid to hold signs in favor of the project at a city council meeting. I have heard that the projections for how much money this project will generate may be overstated. I have reservations based on all of the development projects in Richmond's history that fell far short of their promises. I can tell you personally, I painted a mural at 6th Street Marketplace that I can no longer visit. Lastly, I am concerned about the possibility that this will reduce funding for our schools. In other states, TIF projects have caused a loss in state funding for schools because they make it seem like the city has more money for education when in fact all of that money has to be used to pay off the project. I was deeply discouraged to hear that when the mayor's office was asked to calculate how much Richmond might lose from the state due to the TIF, they refused to run the numbers. If we have no reason to be concerned, why won't they do the calculations? A private accountant ran the numbers and it is looking like we would lose roughly 300 million of state funding for our schools. And that is just the loss in state funding. The Navy Hill Commission has determined that the city will lose $316 million from this project. The developers assume that the revenue gained from the project will offset this loss, but that assumes that the project will be successful. We have no guarantee of the money to be gained, only certainty about how much will be lost. I will ask you to please adopt this resolution with its original language. However this project may turn out, if it is approved, we need to know that our schools, and especially our funding, will be safe. Thank you for your time. Thank you.
Good evening again. My name is Katina Harris. I'm an RPS teacher, RPS parent, and vice president of the Richmond Education Association. I'm here this evening to express my support as an individual for the proposal to hold RPS harmless from any TIF projects in the city. I've been researching TIF projects in other parts of the country, as well as the specifics of the proposed TIF here in Richmond. I have some serious concerns about how this might negatively impact school funding. On the local level, we can only be certain that this will decrease money for schools. The possibility that this project would generate money for schools is just that, a possibility. We have no guarantee that it will end up being successful enough to generate this revenue. And even if it does, we would not see that money for three decades. We need money now. It is our duty to protect our schools first and foremost. Let's be wise enough to follow the lead of other states and ensure that school funding is protected if this project should be approved. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Madam Chair, Madam Vice Chair, School Board Members, and Superintendent Cameras. My name is Melandra Coleman, and I am speaking on behalf of the Richmond Education Association. I have four points to share with you this evening. First of all, I would like to say thank you to the board members who joined the REA at our legislative breakfast. And that was Representatives Barlow, Gibson, Young, Dr. Sapini, Cosby, Burke, and Superintendent Cameras. Thank you so much for joining us again. Number two, I have a t-shirt today made by an RPS staff member that represents the colleges that I have attended. And that is because it's Virginia College Application Week. So happy Virginia College Application Week. <laughs> Third, happy American Education Week to all of my fellow educators. Monday, today is kickoff day. Tuesday is parents day. Wednesday is education support professionals day. Thursday is educator board day. And Friday is substitute educators day. And my fourth and final point is in relationship to Representative Gibson's resolution. As an association that exists in part, as stated in our bylaws, to advance the cause of education, we are opposed to any projects funded by a TIF, tax increment financing, that could artificially inflate the perceived financial well-being of the city as calculated by the local composite index, and thereby reduce the revenue that Richmond Public Schools receives from the Commonwealth of Virginia. We need to fund our future and not decrease, limit, or sabotage our school funding. We thereby express support for the proposal to hold RPS harmless from any TIF projects in the city. Let's lock arms and ensure that school funding is protected. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you.